trying to figure out if I want the light or not. Hi guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really, really fun to share with you guys. I purchased something quite a while ago because it was cheap and it looked really interesting and I've been keeping it by my bed, waiting for the day that I can finally record this video and today is the day. What is this? Well, got a bit of a backstory. I've never really been that good with liquid liner. In my entire 22 years of living, I've only purchased two liquid liners, both of which I have not made my way all the way through. One is missing and the other is right beside me. Even so, it's a very rare occasion that I actually end up successfully being able to apply liquid liner and I'm always doing it in a hurry and I like if I am able to have time just to like sit and relax I will be able to nicely do my liquid liner but I tend to have to do it when I'm actually in a rush because I'm a very busy person so this cute little gadget is going to help us with it want to see it wing it it is kind of like a stencil that you use to put next to your eye to create the perfect cat eye and there are six different types which means today we are going to be trying six different liners with the stencil to see if it is worth it so this doesn't say it was not tested on animals which is very upsetting if I had my own like liquid eyeliner the way this is I would use that but I'm just gonna use what I got unfortunately you gotta do what you gotta do go to open this do we want to see it this is what it looks like in the packaging. Very small, very simple. You can see it comes with the stencil, the eyeliner like makeup, as well as an eyeliner brush. Clearly, guys, this was like Annie proofed, I think. I think it knew that I wanted it because it just will not open, even with my even with my scissors. Hello. Oh, I dropped it. Here we have the actual makeup itself. It just kind of says I envy on it. Let's open it. Oh, I am be by Kiss. So this is what the inside looks like. Handy dandy stencil. You can see we've got six different kinds of cat eye. We have, and I'm not sure you'll be able to see this. We have classic, smooth, drama, gala, flick, and double flick. I'm so excited. You have no idea. So, and then last we got our little brush. So. Let's just begin. I'm going to start with the classic liner because that's the way to go. Choose desired eyeliner tail size on eyeliner stencil. Check. I'm guessing I'm just gonna go like that. Position stencil beside lower eyelid. Use two fingers to hold it in place. Mark the distance from the wings to the bottom of your brow in order to achieve exact, okay? Using slanted brush, fill in the wing as desired. Connect the wing to inner corner of your eyelid to complete the cat eye look. All right, guys, here we go. So we're gonna open the eyeliner, get the slanted brush out. Classic, help a girl out here. Okay. So it said to match it with the lower, which basically means that it's going to be like this. And it says to use two fingers. Oh gosh, um, I, don't, I don't get it. Like I get it, but I don't. But it's gonna work. I am now touching the liner. Okay guys, there's literally no turning back now. Ah, uh, why do I feel like that was kinda wrong? I guess that's how it's supposed to go. And then it said fill in. But there's nothing to fill in. And then I'm just gonna use my regular liquid liner, I think, just to kind of define it more. All right, we got one side. I'm going to just do the other side just to make sure that I'm making this equal and that it'll like turn out okay. This is like kind of odd to lie. It's very odd because it's like my bone is just not really letting me press the stencil down to the like desired area, I guess. I almost feel like I should have like watched some videos of people doing this. I'm concerned that these aren't going to end up equaling out because one of them is like looks a little bit higher than the other. We won't know until I even know. This one looks better than that one. This one I made too thick, but that's my fault. So I'm just going to redo it. This is why I'm not going to be recording them all. Though I have to say I have these new wipes that I got. They're by Cottonelle. They're um, 
Cottonelle Fresh Care Flushable um, Cleansing Wipes. I really like them. They're really good. All right, I need to take like a deep breath. Oh, hey, that one worked a little better. Guys, how many tries is it gonna take for Annie to get this to work? This is what happens when you're not skilled in makeup. All right, I'm going to stop recording. We're gonna come back. Okay, so this is the classic cat eye. As you can see, very easy, very even. I have to admit, I really, really like this tool. Um, it made my application super easy after after I got used to it, I have to say. I had to flip my mirror around and make sure that I was like looking as close as possible and like hold it the correct way. But of course, like the second that I turned off my camera, it was A-OK. -okay. So this is the classic eye. Again, I don't have too much makeup on. This is just, just, just to really show off the um, eyeliner tool rather than to pair this these with other makeup styles per se. And just to like add a little side fact also is that um, I did use Elf's Precision Liquid Liner is what I ended up using just to kind of like finalize the look because it does say to kind of complete it a little. So that's what I did. This is classic. So that was uh, quite an experience. I really liked it. Are you ready? I don't know which way to go. Let's go clockwise and move on to the next one that says smooth. So while classic kind of swoops up, smooth looks like it goes more straight out. Okay, so this is the second one. This is just the smooth stencil. It was a challenge to get these two um, equal out, let me tell you that. So the smooth one, as you can see, is V, V, basic. It's just like flat. There you go, see how it's just like flat and straight? That is smooth. Um, I do definitely like this one. It's a little bit almost cleaner to me, but at the same time, it's almost a little bit too thin. The first one that I did, not this one, it was like 10 ago that I did it, looked so good, but it turns out that it was actually not what the stencil was supposed to look like, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, that This is smooth, you can see. Very thin, very straight, very easy, and very simple. So the next one that we are now moving on to, I have no idea how this is gonna work, guys. We got drama. I can barely function with this one, just so you guys know. It's like insane, the amount of eyeliner that I now have all over my face. My eyes literally feel heavy. This is insane. And I don't think I put it on right. Does this look right? I feel like this could look like, it looks okay in person. On camera, it looks kind of weird because I look very weird, but this just look, oh, I just, I just smudged it. Smudged it. Mm. This one, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't like this one. I don't think I'm ever going to use this one unless I'm like doing Halloween or something. Maybe not even then. So let's just move on to the next one, shall we? The next one is called Glam. Hopefully that one's better than this. So this is what glam looks like. This one is very straight all around. I kind of messed up on this one a lot, but that's okay. Um, this one's pretty cute. This is more for like a night out or like a nice date to me. It's a lot more like classy. Well, the other ones are very like casual. This one's classy. I like it. I just need to um, have a reason to wear it, aka my boyfriend should be taking me out more. All right, so that was Glam. The next one we can lick. It is the second to last one and looks a lot like what I see a lot of, which is like a cat eye that goes Whoop. So let's hope it looks nice. So this right here is what Flick is supposed to look like. This is kind of what Flick is supposed to look like, but this one is definitely better. You can see it's very tiny and just like a hump, which is what I really like. This challenge is getting so rough, but I have one left. The last one we have is double Flick and then I'm done. But let me tell you guys, my eyes right now are like raw from how much I've been wiping them. 
you can see right here all my makeup removing lights i'm going crazy but it's okay one left and then we're done we got this so like i said the last one is double flick this is double flick pretty cute a little bit challenging um i that's that's about it that i have to say about it pretty cute i do like it i could see myself doing this one more definitely yeah Whew. you guys you have no idea how relieved i feel be done with that one because I was going crazy with all these. Let me tell you, I was like literally getting anxious. So how do I feel about this? Well, let me look up the price and tell you if I feel it's worth the price. I'll start with that much. I, need, I, I ordered this so long ago, I like can't find it in my orders. No, 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 no. This product is only $4.49 on Amazon. And is it worth $4.49? Yes. Absolutely worth $4.49 if you are okay with the fact that it is probably going to be a very stressful experience. At least that's how I feel. This was a very stressful experience for me, but then again, it's because I did do all six. My eyes are just like really hurting right now. Um, but of all of the six that I did, I really enjoyed Flick, Double Flick, Classic, and Smooth. I can see myself using it in the future. The big problem that I still find with this thing is that it's difficult still to like equally distribute them one of them my constant issue was that one was always higher than the other one looked better than the other and this was kind of supposed to defeat the perp like defeat that issue <sighs> but it didn't it just made it a little bit easier to maintain but let me tell you guys my eyes are killing me right now but that's it so um this is 449 on amazon i'm going to link it down below because i do think it is a pretty cool purchase i am going to also get myself a little bit more high quality gel liner than this just because goodness knows what's up with this story behind it i kind of you know always like more ethical makeup and i'm not really sure how ethical that is especially because uh, it was only 4.49 yeah all right so that is all that i have for you guys today thank you so so much for watching feel free to like the video as well as comment down below you tell me what do you think about gel liner or what do you think about this do you think using a stencil is cheating or do you think it is a hack you tell me what you think anyways thank you so so much for watching guys also feel free to subscribe to my channel and continue getting updates on other videos that are to come thank you again and i hope you all have a better day than i am having at this moment bye